Okay, we are joined by um, head coach Kevin McMillan and Kenlin McCarn. Reminder, please uh, make sure your cell phones are silenced. No, no cell phone video, flash photography, or video cameras allowed in the press conferences. And if you want to access the press conference video afterwards, you can do so at the NCAA digital workroom. When you have a question, please make sure to raise your hand so we can get the microphone to you. Please identify yourself by name and affiliation. We'll start off with the opening comments from Coach, and then we'll go to questions for the player. Go ahead, Coach. Uh, yeah, I was worried about their, uh, their seniors and, uh, and their system and, uh, because I watched them and they were really good and I enjoyed watching them execute. Um, what I wasn't, and uh, their coach was funny talking about it after the game. We weren't quite expecting Care to go seven for ten from three, uh, and then uh, uh, Flanagan to go two for three. And we we played. We actually played a really good first quarter. We made three mistakes, and they hit threes on all three of them. Uh, but what I saw out of our kids and those of you that know in our season. Um, we, we looked like we looked at when we played the last game of our season. Uh, we looked a step slow. We looked a little tired. And, uh, and I thought they took advantage of it. And, uh, and they, played, they played better than we did. Um, they're, they're, a good, they're a good team. Thank you, Coach. Questions for Kenley? Blake Salen, WPSD. Kenley? You guys seemed a little bit out of sync. How much did that kind of come down to maybe just the moment? Obviously, there's a lot of youth on this team. Do you guys feel like you know some of the inexperience and youth maybe caught up with you today? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a big deal being here, and we're not used to that, and we are very young. But, I mean, overall, I think it's more that we haven't played in a week and a half, and so that kind of set us back a little bit. But... Um, I mean, yeah, definitely being young had a factor in that and being on such a big stage, for sure. Other questions? Uh, Aaron Blue from HawkeyeSports.com. Um, their defensive effort uh, seemed to be pretty ratcheted up. Um, can you just describe what it felt like uh, defensively out there, um, offensively for you, their defensive effort and, and what they brought on that side of the court? Um, their defense was very good, very physical. Um, I mean, they were guarding the shooters and sinking off the people that they felt wasn't a threat. I mean, they played it very smart, did what they were supposed to do. Um, it was it was pretty difficult to get shots off and find open people for sure. Other questions? Kenley, obviously it's frustrating to lose, but you know, for you guys, I'm guessing there's a silver lining in knowing that you know there's a lot of time left with this roster. What's the biggest maybe takeaway from this game? There's um, no silver lining with Kenley <laughs> McCorn. It's really hard for me to have a silver if lining. If you know Kenley McCorn, there's no silver lining. Um, uh, yeah, we are very young. We definitely plan on being back. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway um, that we need to take is um, we're not – where we need to be for this level of basketball. Um, and that starts in the summer. So I'm hoping that we see that. And starting the summer, we go to work. And instead of just preparing for our conference and those types of games, that we look to the, the bigger picture and focus on all the little things that we need to be good at this level. You know they're taping this. Yeah. Okay. Other questions for Kenley? All right. Thank you, Kenley. Appreciate your time. Can I get up? Yeah. Can You're I dismissed. Right. Yeah. Awesome. You can leave. Thanks. Now I won't talk about you. Yeah. Okay, we'll take questions for Coach. Kevin, do these games just kind of show how important experience is in the month of March? Well, I think Kenley, Kenley and I were talking about it out there. Um, we, we were – in the first quarter, they they were they were solid and they were good defensively, you know. But they played a game uh, last Saturday, and I really thought we were as out of sync 
as I had seen us. Um, and I think having this big break, didn't, I thought it was going to help us because we're so injured. Um, but watching us out there, we were making decisions that we hadn't made since back in like mid-January. Uh, the ball wasn't moving like it had. So I think that was my fault with our kids that we probably should have done something because our tournament, we're the first tournament that ends. Uh, so we literally hadn't played in 13 days and, and we just, we looked at, we just looked like we did back in January. And I wish we had looked like we looked in that tournament because we were playing really, really well. Uh, I think the, the numbers, of course, uh, got to us. And so when you, when you add that up, then is when I think the experience is, it killed us because we didn't have a senior or a junior out there that said, hey, let me get us through this little stretch and we'll get going. Uh, but I just I thought most of it was me having them out of sync and, and looking like we were a step slow. Aaron? It's easy to see the, the, the fire in Kenley there. What does, what, what does she bring for the future of your program and, and how excited are you, are you to have her that have that experience that, that she just had tonight? Well, what you don't know about Kenley is this is the first year since she was a eighth grader that she lost her last game. For first time since she was an eighth grader that she lost her last game. So she doesn't know how to handle this, which for me is awesome uh, because she will, she will vow to be back here. Uh, and, and, and we're, you know, listening to the starting lineups, I just heard senior, 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 senior. And then for us, it was freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore, freshman. And the, the kids that we have hurt, ironically, are freshman, freshman, uh, junior, and junior. So, you know, can we, can we use this to catapult and do? We've done it before. Uh, we came here and started four freshmen the first year we ever got here. Uh, and we parlayed that into four appearances and a chance to, to win that by the time those guys got some, some maturity. Uh, you'd, you'd like to see these kids get back. Um, you'd like to see her get back. And I'd like to see her healthy uh, because she's a, she's a special one, and she showed it in the tournament, in the, in the OVC tournament. Uh, but tonight, again, we looked, we looked a step slow, and we looked like we weren't quite there. But, you know, if they use this as a springboard, I think we could be really good next two or three years. Is it hard to be upset after a game like this when you kind of realize and look back on what you guys have gone through and, and, and kind of treat it all as almost icing on the cake? Well, for me or for them? For you. Um, for me, I, I'm not upset. Uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, well, let's, let me say that differently. I'm upset that the girls are upset. I'm upset that they feel like they did not play the way they are capable of. I'm upset about that for them, for me. Uh, when you ask kids to play out of position and you ask kids to play 38 minutes all year long and you ask kids to play when they're hurt, I mean, how can I possibly be upset? You know, every time I've asked them to do something, they've done it. They've, they've continually raised the bar. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be upset at them. I can't be disappointed. I can't be more proud of a team of kids that as freshmen and sophomores – I mean, we've got MRIs set up for these guys as soon as we get home. And I'm not talking about one. Uh, and for them to play and give everything they've got for their teammates and for, the, for our university, I can't be more, more proud of them. And there's nothing that they could do that wouldn't. They're just great ambassadors. They're, they're thanking the, uh, the custodians in the, the hotels. You know, they're unloading stuff for people. I mean, they're just great, a great group of kids. And, I, you know, it, I'm proud to be associated with them, um, but I'm, I'm upset for them. But for me, when you ask them to do those things, I mean, it hurts me to know how hurt they are, and I still ask them to go out there and play. I feel awful. So actually, I'm probably relieved for me because I don't have to put them back out there uh, because they would go back out and do it, do whatever you ask them to do. Just an unusual group in this day and age. It's not about me, 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 me. 
What's the excitement level for you and for the girls, uh, just knowing what you have coming back with this team? I, you know, I think for a while they're going to be disappointed. Um, I think at some point it'll sink in what they were allowed to do uh, or, or what they were uh, able to do this year. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with it. You know, today in today's day and age, you know, who knows what these kids are thinking? Um, I, I think that they're going to try to use it as a springboard. Um, is that what you asked me? Okay. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, I know that one will be upset for a little while, and she'll hold it over my head for a long time uh, because that's just how she is. Uh, but she also has the ability to galvanize that whole team. And uh, if, they, if they jump on the Kenley McCarn bandwagon, you know, I'm, I would never bet against that kid, especially if we get her healthy and get everybody else back. Any further questions? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everyone.